So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pull apart a Semper Vivum Hufelii. Actually, well, I mean like just how I pull apart and propagate Semper Vivum Hufelii. Or Jarba, Jova Barba Hufelii, depending on who you're talking to. Um, so this is the clumping type. This is an old flowering stem, but this is the clumping type of uh, hen and chick. And they have just one big, one big root mass here, right? One large crown. So the first thing I do is I'll clean it up a little bit. Rip off some of these roots. We don't need all these roots. Get more roots next time. And then I'm gonna find an easy spot and I'm just gonna get in there and start pulling. You don't really wanna cut the plant because it, it breaks away real clean like. It has its own kind of fracture points. Then I'll clean it up a little bit. And I'll set that guy upside down to dry for 48 hours. See, they all they all share this central crown. They're not like a normal hen and chick that'll make a chick on a stick, you know. It's actually kind of satisfying. It's intimidating to do the first time and then really satisfying once you get the hang of it. It's all about ripping it. You don't want to cut it though. <sighs> Who gets the big crown? You get the big crown. We'll take this little mother piece and we'll eat that. And uh, this one's a nice little double and clean everybody up a little bit. And I'll just set them indoors, outside of the frost, somewhere where the cats can't get them. Actually, I could leave them outside. I mean, these guys have been outside. They went down well below freezing last night. You'd probably dry them out faster, to be honest. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave them outside. Less problems are rot. I don't want to have to take them up to 70 degrees. They can hang out in the cold. Yeah, just like that. All my little they're all propagated or all split and then let them dry put them in your favorite mix ta-da